L let me give you some stats that kind of amplify what this Yankee team's about. Um, on offense, American League ranks uh, through May 2nd. They're first in home runs with 32. They're second in runs scored with 109. Third, total base is 320. Tied for third with 14 stolen bases. These are the Bronx Bombers, 14 stolen bases. Uh, 247 batting average, that seems low, right? Well, I think the major league average this year is 232. So they're third in the American League with a 247 batting average and second with a 742 OPS. Now let's go to pitching. First in strikeouts, first in wins, first in ERA, second in save, tied for first in allowing just 15 home runs, fourth in batting average against uh, 222. Now this isn't a perfect stat, but it's a stat. They have a 993 fielding percentage first in the American League. You keep yourself in the top three or four in all of those categories, you're going to win a lot of games. And right now they're winning a lot of games and doing very, very well. And you guys all know, um, I thought that the biggest competition that they would have would be Toronto. I, I, I picked Toronto to win the American League East. And so far, they've taken three out of five from Toronto. And we'll see what they do tonight. Alec Manoa is 4-0, and and he's really handled the Yankees well. And um, the Yankees send out Jamison Tyone. So we'll see how they do tonight. And then uh, the final game will be on Wednesday, Thursday. It's an off day. Then, then the Texas Rangers come into town. Um, so they, they've, got a, they've got a chance to really make some noise if they keep piling up wins. The one thing about baseball, one thing about sports, you win a game, they don't take it away. It's not like Jeopardy. Yeah. They, they, you're not going to lose money when you answer a question wrong. So they can go on a five-game losing yeah. streak. They're not taking these ten wins away. No. I mean, uh, Dave Maloney says it with hockey that points don't go bad. Yeah. And it's the same for wins. Wins don't go bad. They, they still, no matter what happens, that's still going to be a notch on the left side of the standings. Now, one thing that they have that, that I think is an exciting component, and they haven't had that for a while. In fact, they haven't had it since 1998. Tim LaCastro is the real deal. He's one of the fastest guys in baseball. And if you didn't watch the game last night, what they did was Stanton let off with a single, which was a really important hit. And immediately, Boone puts in LaCastro to pinch run for Stanton. Now, they've had fast guys before that pinch ran, but they were very reticent to steal. You know, they, they take, like, even Brett Gardner, a guy I really like, he would take forever to steal a base. He, he would have to watch 10, 11 pitches, and by then it's two outs. LeCastro takes off and steals second base. That sets mm -hmm. the whole thing up, and then uh, a couple of batters later, Gleyber Torres singles to right field. Nobody's going to throw out LeCastro. He is, to this team, what Homer Bush was in 1998. That's a weapon in today's baseball because a lot of teams don't have speed. A lot of teams, they love their catchers that can frame, but they don't really care if they can throw runners out. Well, now the Yankees can take advantage.